Hello everyone, it's action here. If you want to learn sword forms, first of all, you have to know the basic moves for the sword. Otherwise, you probably get injured. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the basic moves for the sword to develop the strength and coordination for your wrist. And later on, if you want to learn sword forms, I will become so much easier. In this tutorial, I'm going to use board sword, also known as tag sword, which means when you practice the sword, you have to be like a tiger. I'm powerful, okay? Let's introduce this tiger sword to you guys. This is the handle part you hold here, and here, this part is to protect your hand, which means in a sparring or combat, and this part can protect your hand like this. So two swords hit each other, and see, here can protect your hand. And this part is to confuse your enemy. And also in the molding this for demonstration and practice as well. With this, people can see your sword clearly. All right. The top here is unsharpened. The bottom is sharpened. You can see as well, it's half soft, which means for practice only. But remember this, guys. If you're good at this sword, all of the sword you can use the same technique, including the real sword as well. And if you don't have a sword, you can use the stick first. Hold the stick here. Make sure the stick is next to your ear, so that's the proper length. You can practice with the stick first. All right, right. Let's start our training. We are going to develop the strength for wrist and coordination. So hold your sword. Make sure your body naturally straight. I come a bit back so you can see clearly. Put your left leg back on your toes and put your hands in front like this. We are going to do the wan hua, which is chopping down. See. Make sure your sword is straight. Don't be like this, okay? This is not coordinate. And use your thumb and dig index finger hold the sword, the rest just to support your sword. It's just like a bow star, okay? So we relax, the chop down, straight. If you're not coordinate, your sword be like this. So that's too stiff for your wrist. You have to be relaxed. All right. We don't speed up yet, okay? We don't speed up yet. So I face to this angle. You can see clearly as well. Ready? See? Your sword is like this. Close to your body. Okay, close to your body. Not like this. See, this is not cornet. And release your wrist. Chop. Wan hua. In Mandarin. Chop, so chop down, one, two, like this. Once you get used to it, you can add the speed. All right, in the end, you can chop like this and finish. Right, let's give it a release with your wrist and we do one more time with the speed. I face to this angle first. Ready? Go. And the outside as well. Body straight up. Body straight up. Slow motion first. And speed up. Chop. All right. Let's move on to the next. The so next move is before was chop, right? And now this time we do the other way around. It's like pick from the bottom up. Use the sharpened set to pick up, see? So, ready, start from your right hand side first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pick, see? Pick, all right? Now, face 
three to this angle. Ready? Right hand there. And relax. Same as before, make sure the sword close to your body, okay? Close to your body. In the end, you can add the pop, pick, and finish. All right, for beginners, maybe it will be easier you know how many times we are going to do. So let's try we do eight times. Start from your right hand side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and finish. So with the move we done before, like we're chopping, you can do the same as eight times. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and chop. Or from this side, you chop, and depends on you. Let's try this picking with speed. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this way. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pa. So in this tutorial, like you can see, we done eight times. You can do 10 or 20 times. That's totally depends on you. All right, and let's move on to the next move. Rebel head forwardly, which is called chanto, like this. Say potato head. So we do slowly first. You bend your knees a bit. And body straight up. It's like a high horse stance. You put your sword on your left arm. Put the unsharpened set on your arm, not the sharpened set. Unsharpened set like this. Okay, and then what are you going to do? You're gonna rise up with your left arm. If you raise up your left arm, you can see like this. And then you slide down with your sword close to your body. Close. Alright? So from this side you can see, pa, make your sword touch your body like this. And there's no gap. Alright, no gap. Like this. Let's protect your head. For example, in the combat, so I'm going to chop you, you can protect your head, see? Protect, protect and chop, right? Protect and chop. So this means, this is rebel head forwardly, and once we get used to it, we can try the backwardly as well. Now let's give a go, together, open your legs, start with a slow motion first, put your sword on your left elbow here. See, this is your shoulder, right? Below your shoulder. Below your shoulder. And rise up with your left arm. Make sure the sword is on your body and you slide down, okay? Slide down. There's no gap at all. There's no gap. Once you've done the first one, say one, second hand, two, see that? Three. And your left arm is like a, draw a circle. Draw a circle. Your right arm is like this, see? Circle as well, but close your body. Together, see? Like this. Slow motion first. Once you coordinate, and you can speed up. Right? And finish. I will face without that direction. You can see clearly. Ready? One, two, three, four. Can I run? Can you see? And relax. Are you back? Come back, back. You can see clearly. All right. Now next one. Let. And next, let's speed up with this move. And relax your wrist first. All right, ready, go. One, two, three, four. You can finish like this. Face to this angle. One, two, three, four. All right, let's try with the other side. The other side, I face to this angle. Start from here, see? Start from here, the high horse thing. This is like a chop. 
Und wir müssen legen Sliss. Sliss. And on your right shoulder. Okay? Right shoulder. Before was on our left shoulder. Now it's on our right shoulder. And then what are you going to do? You rest up with your right arm. And on your left shoulder. Chop. Again. See? Same as the previous move. Make sure the sword, make sure the sword is on your body. Okay, there's no gap. Make sure this move. Remember this move. You cannot gonna hit. You cannot uh, cut your neck. Okay, make sure the sword is not cutting your neck. Like this. See. And from this side, chop, turn on your red arm, on your red shoulder, up, flex. Chop, turn, ha. Okay? Say this. Uh, give it a release with the shoulder. We try one more time. Start. Face to this side four times. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's try with the speed with this move, okay? So ready? One, two, three, four. Uh, actually, this move you can combine with the previous move together, which means you wrap your head forwardly four times and then backwardly. See? You have to be with your sword as one and to cone it. Let's move on to the next move. The next move will be so much easier. We're gonna step or sword. Let's learn how to step or sword properly. So we like a higher horse stance, make sure you hold the sword next to your waist. Throw your waist like a punch, okay? Like a punch. You punch out with your shoulder level, right? You don't punch too high. The same as with the sword. Hold here, you step sword, make sure the sword is straight, not too high. Not too low, okay? So drop your shoulder and back. Step. Back. Let's try with the power. You turn it faster. Back. Back. So like uh, uh, as I mentioned before, this sword is half soft. Half soft, half soft, you can make a sound. If it's a real sword, you cannot make a sound, okay? So ready, twice more, one, back, two, back. Move on to the next one, chop sword. We step sword, and then we chop, like a high, like a high horse then, chop. And through your waist, step, chop. to make a sound. I have a very soft one. You can make a very noisy sound. So I don't want to use too soft. I want to use half soft because this sword close to the real sword. Okay, close to the real one like a hard sword. Okay, let's move on to the lucky last move. The lucky last move is quite a challenge. Let's give it a try. So we're from here, right? I face to from here. I face to that angle you can see. We turn to the right. Remember the first move we have learned, chop, right? We are going to use this move. So we turn to the right. You're going to chop to the right. One, two, under your anchor. Next, 
next to your waist. Put your right hand next to your waist. Okay, not too far, like this. And then, and then you turn to the left. When you turn to the left, you draw a circle with your sword. And back. One more time. Turn to the right, chop from your right hand side, one, two, under your anchor, okay? And then you turn to the left, draw a circle with your sword, and back. Now, face to this angle, you can see, I turn to the right, we don't speed up yet. One, two, left, draw a circle, and back. One more time. One, two, back. One, two, back. See? If you want to add a power, you turn to the right a bit faster. And then left faster. You give you more power like this. See? More power. You can turn back. But we do it in slow motion. We do in slow motion moves first to get used to with the coordination and flexibility for your wrist. Face to this angle, turn to the right, one, two, three, pa. One, two, three, pa. Again. And release your wrist. Remember, index finger and thumb lock the sword. The right just to support. So when you do this, your index finger and thumb lock the sword. When you step your sword, you hold your sword. Bah! And you have to know when to be relaxed and when to use the string. Okay? Now, one more time. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? One, two, three. So this move will be a challenge. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's try to speed up. So once you get used to it with this move, you can try to turn a bit more. Start with facing to this way. You turn to the right. One, two, three. Yeah, turn to the left. Okay? Left. Before was like this. See, before was like this. I want you get you I want you guys get used to it with the coordination first. See? This first, and then right, left, face the other way, tip your toes, right, left, right, left, give you more power, tap and right, right and left, it's not left and right, right and left, all right, let's try at the speed, okay, we speed up. Four times. Relax your wrist. Face to this angle four times. Okay? In a row. We do we do it in slow motion first. See so one two. Let's speed up. Finish. If you go at this move, this move we call the Wu Dao. Wu Dao, okay? You can, you can add up with the previous move we have learned. For example, I do this Wu Dao, one, two, and I can step sword. Right? After you step sword, you make sure you put your sword next to your left elbow here, and then again, see? Ha. But remember his details. If you're gonna step short, make sure your body face in front first, and then you turn. Pa. Pa. You gotta add a chop sword as well. Pang, pa, and pa, pang, pa. Or you can try with this wu dao. One, two, and wrap your head forwardly. See? Wrap your head. With the wrap your head, you can face in forwardly or face to the left. All good. Uh, front, 
left. Ha! Or you can try why rabbit head forwardly and backwardly. Okay? If next day your wrist becomes sore, that means your wrist becomes stronger and that's totally normal. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Happy training, happy life. We'll see you next time.